This is Princey Seats Channel. Your preferred channel for legit information and contents needed. If you are new to the channel kindly subscribe and press the notification button for further updates. Further broadcast on Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama, Jennifer Isaac, AGPN and others. Pay attention to this. Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning, um, all Grand Prejo Group of Nigeria. Good morning, uh, Apostle Ken. Wakama. Madam Jennifer, good morning. Um, Mr. Shalom, good morning. And good morning, the Grand Colony of Nigeria. I want to respond to Mr. Shalom's um, voice note. Uh, sir, you have spoken well. This is Pastor Daniel. You have uh, spoken well. But, sir, uh, you know, the Bible said something. It said, if the foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do? I made a voice note some days back where I sat back and I, so many thoughts came to my mind. What has been happening in grand community and what the maintenance has been benefiting. Now, if we want to look at Nigeria, the northerners, they don't even have good soil more than we the southerners or the easterners. But today, they produce our fruit, they produce most of our food, maybe apart from Gary. Because why? They do benefit from agricultural loans, grants, and all that before now. Why? because of um will i say the kind of leaders they have that aside sir i want to tell you this for me to come out that day and i was let me use well, laying some courses i know revelations that i've seen pertaining this morning i know what i'm hearing and what i've heard about this morning you know, in grand community, I always tell people in my platform that grand community is deep. Grant is very, very deep. That there might some there might be some talks that will come out. They want to come and de debunk it. But the truth of the matter is this sir. Uh, you have a friend, and I have a friend. The friend I have, I have a friend. The friend you have, I have a friend. Those friends also have a friend. So, they will say, among every rumor, there must be element of truth. Among every rumor, there must be element of truth. So, most of the things that do come out from the Grand Colony today, sir, they are truth. But the only thing is just that, maybe when the thing escalates, they will just come and debunk it. As a matter of fact, sir, it is not all about salt water. The Bible said wisdom is profitable to direct. It is all about applying wisdom and stop this greedy attitude. What is delaying this money, sir, is greed and covetousness. Is greed and covetousness. Like I have my people, you have your own people. You want to satisfy your people, me, I want to satisfy my people. Forgotten that we are different colors, but one people. So these are the things that we need to put in our mind as a leader. We are different color, but one people. So using salt and water to bath or not, sir, the truth of the matter, in as far the blood of Jesus was sacrificed or sacrificed for our sake, I believe we have been liberated. 
The Bible said we overcome by the by, by the blood of the lamp and by the words of our testimonies. So let me put that aside. Then, for those who are threatening uh, the lives of uh, Apostle Ken, Wakama's daughter, let me tell you something. You don't have any right because Apostle Ken, Wakama's daughter, cannot bear the sin of her father. If you know that somebody uh, is, is dealing with you or Apostle Ken, Wakama, has offended you look for him not his seed nor his family so looking for apostle ken wakama daughter the truth of the matter is, is the blood will be on your head whoever that is carrying out this plan the blood will be on your head whoever that wants to carry this plan but i will want to stand in my office today that as anybody as many as you that will want to carry out plan to harm any seed of Apostle Ken Wakama, you will sleep, you will not wake up. You will sleep, you will not wake up. And I pray that as you even carry that kind of plan or that kind of thought in your heart, by the power of the Holy Ghost, your brain will be formatted in the mighty name of Jesus. So if you know Apostle Ken Wakama is the one offending you, Go to him and tell him, yes, he's the one offending you, not his seed, please. Not his seed. So for the all grand pressure group, please, you people have started well. And I really want us to end well. We all understand everything that is going on. And I will still stand to say this, that whatever that is happening in grand community is greed and conviciousness. I will stand boldly to say it any day, any time. Is greed and conviciousness that that is wrong or that is stopping this disbursement not to take place. So please, I want to say this. You people should just see on how you can put your heads together and resolve this issue. And resolve this issue. For people who has put their life in grant community, even in free time, nothing is free. So I always tell people in my platform, I say, go to your day-to-day -day activities and let us allow this grant to come as a surprise. Look for something doing and let this grant come as a surprise. When you are having one and the grant comes, it will be added to whatever you have kept before or whatever you have saved before. So please, we should just relax our mind and be hopeful that one day, one day, the grant will come. But as for me, I know soonest the grant will come. But I will still stand in my office as a servant of God that whoever, I don't care to know who the person is, this is early hours of the day. This is early hour of the day. That whoever that is still holding bound this grant, may the head continue to fight that person. May the Lord seize the peace of that person. May the day fight that person. May the night fight that person. May the persons going out and coming in fight that person. In the mighty name of Jesus, may that person never find peace. I, irrespective of whoever that person is, but I stand in my office as the prophet of God that whoever that is deliberately holding this grant for it not to be disbursed, may that person's generation be wiped off unless they release this grant. I've said it. I've said it. I don't want to start. You know, in grant community, there are people who are quiet but they do underground checking. There are people who don't want to say these things, but they do underground prayers. There are people who sees revelation pertaining these accurate revelations about this grant that don't want to say this. But sometimes, the Bible says wisdom is profitable to the red. Sometimes you, some persons can be pushed to the wall and they want to do 
and undo. So please, we should try as much as possible to see on how we can put our heads together and disburse this grant. If this grant is disbursed today now, Nigerians will not be thinking if Nigerian government is bad or good. Nigerians will not be pouring abuses on Tinubu. Nigerians will not even be thinking if they even have government that is existing because everybody will want to look for what he or she will want to do. So please, I am using this opportunity to say this again. Whoever, whoever, irrespective of your office, Whoever you are that is deliberately holding this grant out of greed and conventiousness, you will die. You will not live to experience this grant in the mighty name of Jesus. I say so. Let's watch and see. Thank you. I remember Pastor Daniel. Thank you very much.